Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inappropriate Movie Database, the comedy game show about content warnings. I'm your host, Nick Martucci. Thank you so much for uh, clicking whatever link sent you here. Uh, I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, if this is your first time watching, you should go ahead and, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, this is episode 60 of this, uh, this weirdo show. Uh, so there's a lot of back catalog at this point you can go to. Most of it's pretty good. I say if you missed uh, last Saturday, we had our, our big extended edition. We gave away money. There was like 15 people on that show. That was so much fun. Go back, watch that. Uh, one brief announcement before we get started. Uh, this coming, uh, not, not this Wednesday, next Wednesday, uh, it doesn't matter if you're watching this whenever you're watching this. Wednesday, <laughs> uh, February 9th uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, if you are in the Boston area, please come out. Uh, we're doing another live in-person show uh, at the Model Cafe in Alston. Uh, just got word. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a fun show right now. We have Josh Pick is going to be on that show. Uh, Rob Crean is going to be on that show. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, please come out to that. It's free. Show up. And after that, stick around for the uh, Garbage Day open mic, uh, which is now hosted by friend of the show, Tyler Derniak. Uh, so that's just going to be a fun night. Please come out to that the uh, February 9th at 7 p.m. Uh, also, we have a whole new month of shows coming up uh, and we need more guests. So if you're watching, if you've been on the show before, or if you've never been on, please reach out to me. I love having new people on the show. Uh, go to the Facebook group, search Inappropriate Movie Database, or click the link in the description. Uh, that's the best place to find it. Or reach out to me on any social media at Blundering Idiom uh, and, and ask to be on the show. We do it Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, which means... It's time for a real fun episode. Uh, I'm so excited for this group of people here. These are some of my favorite people. Uh, let's bring them in. Joining me tonight on the show are L.C. Clark, Mike Giordano, Nick Tatro, and Zach Jones. Hey, everybody. Hello. Uh, <laughs> let's start off. It's been a while since I've seen him. This is a... Uh, I was looking back. It's been about 40 episodes almost since he's been on the show. I'm so happy he's back. Zach Jones is back Jones. on the show. Hey, Zach. I'm so happy to be back. It's it's great to be here. It's great to have you here. Uh, I think right now, uh, if, I, if I remember the stats right, you're one and one. So uh, yes. this will be your tie-breaking game. Yep. Yep. And, um, yeah, I'm going to win the rubber match. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm so uh, it should be a good one. Also, uh, returning to the show, uh, coming off of a real strong win, uh, the last time they were on, LC Clark is back on the show. Hey, LC. Yeah. <laughs> is that I had a strong one? Yeah, I had a strong yeah, win. The, you, you, uh, you blew it away last time, yeah, because I made a list. Did you make a list for tonight? Uh, yeah. You know, you'll have to see whether my knowledge of film seems suspiciously, you know, out of whack with how much I usually seem to know about films. But uh, no, no, I wouldn't make a list. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah but it's it's so fun when when you come up. I like what if if. You haven't seen, especially on these theme shows. Uh, all the shows are theme shows now, by the way. Theme tonight is one word movie titles. Hopefully that'll make it easier for, for uh, our contestants here to remember the full, full titles of movies. Uh, I guess we'll see. Could go either way. Uh, but but Elsie has a tendency to, to, before the show, just write down any movie you can think of that fits the theme. Oh, Yeah. And I think it was like a lot harder a before few. there were themes, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, before then, you just had to write down every movie every you could movie think of, right? I was aware of, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, also, returning to the show, uh, I believe he was also on that show. I believe it was 
animated movies, I want to say, was the last show. Both of you were on. Mike Giordano is back on the show. Hey, Mike. Hey, yeah, I'm still reeling from that loss. And I'm just hoping that I can I can come back and come back a champion and not and not embarrass myself again <laughs> two weeks in a row or three weeks in a row. Now it does look like you have a, a poster on theme behind you, if I if I'm if I know what that movie is. Yeah, I was only able to think of two movies with one word <laughs> titles, and this was one of them. Uh, and that's but I'm gonna hold critters, on to it right? just in case. What is that? Critters? Uh, yes, it would be critters. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've not seen critters. I just know about it. I've seen it on many blockbuster shelves. Yeah, that is a movie that exists just to be at Blockbuster. Yes. <laughs> it's like my mom's going to be grocery shopping for the next hour. I'm going to just stare at the, the VHS boxes with puppets on them. <laughs> <laughs> I always get critters and ghoulies mixed up. Oh, yeah. Ghoulies. Ghoulies are the Hang ones. Hang on, I got to add these to the list. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we might be saying movies. Uh, G-O-L. That's exactly how you spell ghoulies, don't... uh... (laughs) Finally, returning to the show, uh, always happy when she's on. Such a delight. Nick Tatro's back on the show. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Thank you for such a kind intro. Uh, Thank you for continuing (laughs) to come back on the show. Uh, again, I say this with, with all love and respect, uh, the, the, the record for the lowest winning score, Nick Tatra is back on the show. <laughs> it's all strategy, really. How you feeling about this one? One word titles. You know, win or lose, just happy to be here. Uh, real pumped. Now, can, I, I, I can say definitively that none of these movies will have the number two after the title. So okay, that should help. Because <laughs> I was going to ask, the, the whole sequels thing has really thrown me time and time again. Well, I did not say that there's no sequels. Um, there you are in a real a, situation. There are <laughs> uh, at least a couple of movies off the top of my head I can think of that have one word in our sequels. And when I say that, there's only one I can think of off the top of my okay, head. Okay, it better be the one on my list. I don't even know if it's going to pop up on the show tonight. Oh. All right. <laughs> Just oh, starting the game it. with so it. much fear and, and <laughs> loss of trust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they call it a game. Yeah, Nick. Behind you, is that something that I should know? Yeah, so it's the poster. Yeah, for that's my what I thought. Movie. I thought I... somebody else did a movie poster, and I got a lot of boxes behind me. So uh-huh. I was like, let me put up my favorite movie. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was my cousin Vinny. Uh, it's mm-hmm. great. It's a good movie. Uh, it is a movie. It doesn't fit the theme, but I'm I'm happy to see. No, it. but it's one word sequel. Vinny does. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's very dark. It's very dark. It it came out around the same time as when they were doing all those like like Rambo and <laughs> Vinny. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much for being back on the show. Uh, Like I said, uh, theme tonight is one word movies, titles, not one word movies. Uh, It's the same thing. But uh, if this is your first time watching the show, here's what's going to happen tonight. I have gone to IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, and I have pulled parental content warnings for way, 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 way too many movies. Uh, Over 650 of them as of tonight. Uh, keep, uh, Keep doing it. Uh, that's that's too much i should say i say every time i don't write any of these clues these are all uh taken from anonymous weirdos who decide uh that that they need to tell you what what sort of objectionable content uh is in every movie ever made uh i'm sure their intentions are pure i still don't understand why they do what they do and someday i'll talk to one of them 
Uh, gonna put it out every episode until one of them comes on the show. So far, no hits, but someday. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna read out these content warnings. My friends here are gonna try to guess what movie I'm warning you against. Uh, unless there's anything else anybody wants to add or any questions or anything. I think it's time to just jump into this show and to do that. LC, I'm going to go to you first. Okay. Would you like a movie from 1987, 1998, or 2009? What was the middle one? Uh, 98. Ooh. 2009. 2009. First movie of the night from 2009. For five points under the category of frightening and intense scenes, some may get scared in the scene where one character gets mad. I think that's a pretty fair warning. Uh, watch out, somebody gets mad. Mike Giordano is buzzed in. Mike, do you have a guess on this movie? The Incredible Hulk. Mike, that is too uh, many what, words. what, what Hulk. theme uh, <laughs> did I just say this, this show is? Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> no, I'm so happy that that happened, uh, that we didn't wait until later in the show to uh, <laughs> throw out a title with three words. Also, that movie came out in 08. Ah. So uh, really what I'm saying is you're terrible at this game, despite oh. the fact that you, you've won more than most people. <laughs> For four points yeah. under six and nudity, from 44 minutes, 33 seconds, to 44 minutes, 55 seconds, we can see a character's nipple from the side. So watch out for those few seconds. You might see a nipple. Or anger. <laughs> anger and a nipple. Anger and a nipple. Damn. For three points under frightening and intense scenes, a man has several encounters with native creatures, which may be intense. And in several scenes, they chase him in an attempt to kill and eat him. Uh, Zach has buzzed in. Mike has buzzed in. You'll see, Nick, anything? All right. Mike, what movie do you think this is? I'm regretting my decision, but uh, Evolution? Zach, what movie do you think this is? I think this might be Avatar. It is not Evolution. Uh, this movie is the highest cursing movie of all time, Avatar. It's not anymore, though, but yes. No, I it is again. Wait, what? It retook uh, Endgame. Oh, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for fun, the other clues under frightening and intense scenes, the sacred home tree is destroyed by human weaponry, which some may find upsetting and disturbing. And under sex and nudity, the Navi people are aliens, but they are humanoid creatures. They dress in a tribal way, and we see their backsides, not fully covered by their tails, quite a bit. The men wear only loincloths, while the women wear loincloths and ornamental stringy necklaces as bras. Uh... Zach jumping into the lead with three points. LC and Nick tied in second with zero each. Mike at negative two. But Mike, you are up next. Would you like a movie from 1931, 1970, or 2011? Let's go with 1970. 1970. All right, from 1970, for five points under sex and nudity, a lot of the sexual, a lot of sexual references and innuendo. Most of the humor is sexual humor. For four points under sex and nudity, 
A man in a woman's lovemaking is shown briefly, with partial cleavage shown, then switched to the radio room and broadcasted over the PA, over the entire camp. Lots of heavy breathing. You'll see us buzzed in. Anybody else? Also, Mike. Mike, what movie do you think this is? Meatballs? Elsie, what movie do you think this is? Um, Porky's. Oh, it is not Meatballs. Mm. It is also not Porky's. Uh, I thought it was Meatballs, actually. <laughs> well, it's not Meatballs. I know. Yeah, so, so don't worry. No, I'm just. I just wanted to be clear that I. <laughs> well, we I, I thought it was the, the first wrong gesture. answer, <laughs> but I decided to. I, I thought of another one-word answer, and I was like, "That <laughs> is a similar title." All right, for three points under sex and nudity, there is a picture of a topless woman on a magazine cover. The picture is shown twice once to a 17-year-old Korean boy earlier in the film, and then later to another man halfway through the film. No. For two points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, some mild drinking is used. It is told that a surgeon has allowed an underage boy to drink some smoking. Zach has buzzed in. Anybody else? Also, Mike and LC. Nick, nothing? Nick oh, has a, a look of fear on her face. <laughs> uh, all right, LC, what movie do you think this is? Is this the movie MASH that the TV show MASH was based on? <laughs> Does uh, that laugh me? Yes. <laughs> Zach, what movie do you think this is? I also think this is MASH. Yeah, this movie is MASH. I got <laughs> That's not on the list. <laughs> Was Avatar on the, the list? Show. Did you have Avatar on the list? No. <laughs> Uh, final clue in that under frightening and intense scenes, the surgeries which are depicted much more, the surgeries which are depicted much more graphically than the television series. Uh, at the end of that, uh, Zach still in the lead now with five points, LC in second with one, Nick at zero, Mike at negative three. <laughs> anybody's game <laughs> it is we're still <laughs> we're still real early on in this nick would you like a movie from 2009 2014 or 2017 2017 please 2017 all right from 2017 for five points under sex and nudity Lots of crude talk about sex, taints, ball sacks, penis, boobs, erections, shaving pubic hair, junk, and buttholes. Any movies? <laughs> For four points under... Oh, hold on. Nick, you have a guess. What do you think, Nick? No, I think it came out in 2018. Never All mind. All right. Fair enough. For four points under violence and gore, a corpse is shown with two knife wounds and a shark bite. <gasps> Mike is buzzed in. Nick, very excitedly buzzing in. Zach or LC, nothing? All right. Uh, Nick, what movie do you think this is? I think this is Baywatch. Mike, specifically what movie do you think? the remake. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what movie do you think this is? Baywatch. Specifically the remake? No, the TV show, the original. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, then, Mike, you're wrong. Nick, you're oh. correct. It is Baywatch. <laughs> I knew seeing it in theaters 
twice <laughs> was worth it. <laughs> I only saw it because it was free because I worked there, though. I think that that's important <laughs> to distinguish. So they talk about buttholes in the new Baywatch. Is nothing sacred? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the other clues in Baywatch under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, the main plot involves the bad guys dealing drugs. The drugs are shown washing up on the beach in small packets and being smuggled. And a few background characters are mentioned to have been high on it, but the drugs are never shown. Sex and nudity, there are many male characters in swim shorts showing developed upper torsos and rippling muscles. Wow. <gasps> And frightening and intense scenes, the boat rescue scene has some intensity as the lifeguards try to save people from a yacht that has been set ablaze. It was a very intense scene. (laughs) There's Uh, nothing about running in slow motion? uh, No. Uh, They they must have cut that out for the remake. No, I think it was there. I think it was there. You were the only person who saw that movie twice, Nick, so I'm going to take your word for it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Baywatch scholar for here. Uh, and with that, Zach, you're still in first place with five points. Nick, you've jumped to second with four. Elsie and Mike tied in third with one each. Uh, Zach, would you like a movie from 1978, 1990, or 2014? Let's do uh, 2014. All right. Uh, You know what? I think I have to call an audible on this one. Uh Uh, Unfortunately, I am, I am, I am second guessing, including this in one word titles. Uh, So I'm going to say, would you like a movie from 2013 instead? Uh, sure. Yeah. Just just for transparency's sake, I no longer feel comfortable having Birdman on the list because Birdman oh. has a real long parenthetical that I forgot about. Mm. Oh yeah. So Good I don't call. I don't need anybody getting angry at me for including Birdman. Uh, so we're going to go back a year. This movie came out in 2013. I would have been so mad. Yeah, I think you would have. <laughs> 2013, the year before Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. Yeah, it has a subtitle. Uh-huh. For five points under profanity, 33 uses of fuck, some scattered uses of bitch, damn, ass, hell, and shit. There's one scene that has very frequent uses of pussy. Mike is buzzed in. LC is buzzed in. Mike, I I'll go to change you. my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then LC, <laughs> it's just you. Do you know what okay. this movie is? So, so, so how many uses of fuck? Uh, 33. Or, oh my God. And then also pussy, you said? Uh, one scene has very frequent uses of pussy. Oh, okay. Okay, uh-huh. cool. Then 2013? In 2013. 2000, this is 2013's Frozen. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Kristen Bell and um, oh, I, Idina Menzel, of course. Oh, God, yeah. In the role that really introduced her to a wider audience. I and- don't, I, I, I don't think I got that cut of Frozen. Oh no, that you missed the best part. You missed the I pussy missed, pussy scene. I, I missed the pussy scene of Frozen. Oh my god. It's, <laughs> they're so cold. It is weird oh that it, it's it's weird that it's 33 uses of fuck and 32 of them are from that reindeer. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like like that was a weirdly abusive relationship. Oh yeah. I, I mean it's not this movie, but it's weird that both of those movies came out in 2013 and have that. Uh, profanity in them. Yeah, which is why it's so, so excellent weird guess. that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for four points, under sex and nudity, there's a scene where a man and a woman have phone sex. The woman is heard moaning. Elsie has a different guess this time. 
I think. Elsie, what movie do you think this time? Okay, so it's 2013. Uh-huh. And there's sex over a phone. Over a phone. I think that's where you got it confused. It was all online. Yeah, and no, because yeah, frozen is full penetration. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> um no, but so uh, I was thinking about one world titles. Uh-huh. Uh mm. and uh and then you said there's sex with a, a phone, phone sex you said sex with a phone i'm pretty sure uh, and so that okay. made me think <laughs> that probably the movie you're talking about is 2013's <laughs> her i damn it sorry joaquin phoenix <laughs> i don't after even know all that after all that fucking lead up you got the right answer. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, sex on the phone! I don't, uh, absolutely. I don't know how you did it. I oh, didn't right. expect it. You said sex it. with a phone. He has sex with a phone in that movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the message. <laughs> Writing down that clue did not even make that connection. <laughs> um, yeah, this is her. Uh, the other clues in her uh, under sex and nudity in one of several sexual dialogues in the movie, a woman bizarrely demands that the man, quote, strangle me with a dead cat while they imitate a sexual encounter over online chat. A nude pregnant woman is shown during a fantasy sequence. Complete frontal nudity of the woman provides insight into the protagonist's interests in alternatives to, in, to human interactions. The scene is about 10 seconds. Uh, that's All of that is just a, a, a gross couple of sec- uh, sentences. <laughs> he fantasizes about a pregnant woman and because you see her fully nude, you're like, oh, he likes different things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, frightening and intense scenes. There's nothing scary, frightening, or intense in this movie. The movie is very emotional and heavy at times. The bond between the man and his operating system can be seen as sad because the man is in love with a computer. Okay, nothing intense in this movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, does it not star one Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix has never not been intense. He cannot not be intense. Uh, oh my god, I just heard his 911 call, like, fr- from Oh the no, Viper is he okay? Room. Yeah. No, from 1994. It's very sad. His brother oh, did not make it. <laughs> uh oh thanks for thanks for adding sorry we're on the air i keep forgetting we're on the air uh zach you're still in the lead with with five points but right now elsie and nick tied right behind you at four each uh mike is at one elsie would you like a movie from 1963 2002 or 2015 2002. 2002. From 2002 for five points, under sex and nudity, shows a tape labeled swimsuit special. Complete sentence, copy and pasted. For four points under frightening and intense scenes, the whole movie is creepy, but it's what you can't see that makes it more frightening. Elsie has buzzed in. Anybody else? What do you think this time, Elsie? I think this one word movie from 2002 Mm -hmm. uh don't be a menace to sex. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to guess based on my list. Uh huh. And based on the fact that, yeah, like this movie's totally creepy, uh, uh, that this is the Charlie Kaufman film adaptation. 
Uh, that is a very Starring good guess. Two uh, Nicholas Cages. So it's there, right then. Uh, it is not right. Uh, it is one of my favorite movies, but it is not right. The only movie where a fictional character has been nominated for and maybe won an Oscar. I forget if he won. I think he was just nominated. Yeah, uh, Charlie Kaufman's fake twin brother Donald nominated for an Oscar for amazing. adaptation. Also, fucking Brian Cox is amazing in that movie. Haven't seen it in a long time. Gotta watch he, that he again. Plays, he plays uh, Robert McKee and he is so like intent. He, he, you know, he chews that Nicolas Cage, which is what you want from a movie. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this movie from 2002 for three points under violence and gore. People are trapped inside a house and we see shadows of something passing by the windows and hear creaking as they walk along the porch. Then they begin to pound on the doors and windows trying to get in the house. I see Nick and LC. Zach, Mike, anything? All right, Nick, I'll go to you first. What do you think this is? Scream. What was that? Scream? Scream. LC, what do you think this is? Okay, if I'm right, well, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just going to guess. Okay. 2002? 2002. All right. This is is the film that defined <laughs> an auteur you for the can't ages. even do it <laughs> what <laughs> an auteur for the ages uh who would go on to make many more one word films so that even if one were to forget some of his films uh -huh. There would be enough representation of his films uh -huh. in a list of one-word films mm -hmm. to suddenly jog the memory of someone okay. who had forgotten his 2002 film, Great. Signs. I hope it's wrong. God, I hope that's wrong. <laughs> it is not Scream. Um what other one word? Oh, I guess Unforgiven is another one word, M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, and Unbreakable. Old. Oh, Unbreakable. Yeah, not Unforgiven. I meant Unbreakable. Uh, <laughs> all of this is to say we got two Joaquin Phoenix movies in a row. This is science. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And uh, oh, that's going right. On that's on. right. Like, oh, He's God. the brother. Uh huh. Amazing. Uh, I don't know how, like, you are taking me on a journey tonight. Well, because where I don't know if you're full of shit or you know the right answer. <laughs> me too. <laughs> we're uh, all we're all here. Uh, the other clues in this under violence and gore: the alien-like fingers grab the neck of a boy through a coal shaft, and the extraterrestrial fingers reach under the door. Uh, they, they made it sure they, they, they put two different words so you knew what extraterrestrial meant, uh, alien like. And two men wake up in a start, hear children screaming from a distance, and tear through cornfields of, uh, to find a little girl and boy standing amidst the newly created crop circles. Uh, with that, Elsie, you have jumped into the lead at six points. Zach right behind at five, Nick at three, Mike at one. Uh, real close game. Mike, would you like a movie from 1984, 2001, or 2015? 2001. 2001. All right, from 2001. For five points under sex and nudity, there is a few very dirty jokes in the film, but young viewers shouldn't really understand them. Nick has buzzed in. Anybody else? What movie do you think this is, Nick? Flubber. <laughs> it, is, it is not Flubber. <laughs> 
I forgot Flubber existed. What a fun movie. <laughs> For four points under profanity, a character's name has been said to be hinting at the term fuckwad. Uh, I see I see everyone. Oh, no, everybody has buzzed in. Uh, Zach, what movie do you think this is? I think this is Shrek. Nick, what movie do you think this is? Shrek. LC, what movie do you think this is? Uh, Shrek. Mike, what do you think? Shrek. Yeah, that might have been too easy of a four-point clue. Uh, this movie <laughs> is Shrek. Yeah, I never, I never made the connection. That far quad might be fuck quad. Uh, I don't know if that's intended or just whatever this this weirdo heard and uh, decided to I share that a... under profanity uh, kind of sounds like a swear. I think it's supposed to be Michael Eisner from Disney. As it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the other the other side of that. Oh, then no, they're right. It is fuck quad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, other clues than this under violence and gore two characters blow up a frog and a snake like balloons and let them go uh, floating up towards the sky they both mo- most likely died a slow and painful death oh no <laughs> <laughs> profanity mild scatological body humor one fart joke at least two belch jokes implication that the hero used a fantasy novel's torn out page for toilet paper and violence and gore, a woman singing causes a bird to explode, leaving its unborn children to perish at the hands of the <laughs> ogres as they cook over the stove. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote these makes every scene so much more horrifying yeah. than what's in the movie. <laughs> uh LC still in the lead now at 10 points. Zach at nine, Nick at six, Mike at five. Ooh, that's uh, close. It's real close. Uh, Nick, would you like a movie from 1922, 2009, or 2017? Oh, did you say 1922? I did say 1922. 2017. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From 2017, for five points under sex and nudity, multiple sex jokes made by one character. Nothing too explicit. It's mainly your mom jokes and things of that standard. For four points under profanity. Lots of curse words used by young teenagers, including inappropriate hand gestures, putting up the middle finger. For three points under frightening and intense scenes, a character distorts himself in moves in unnatural ways. Some of this is quite comical, however. Mm. Oh, it oh, okay. Ooh, mm, okay. 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 Oh All no, right. that's more than one nope. word. That's more oh, than one nope. word. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's probably not that one. Yeah. All right, for two points under violence and gore. All in all, the violence is not as graphic as other R-rated horror movies nowadays, with many violent scenes actually occurring off-screen. However, blood is prevalent, especially in the aftermath scenes. Nick has buzzed in. Anybody else? Nick, what movie do you think this is? Hereditary. It is not hereditary. Let's go to the final clue. For one point under frightening and intense scenes, people who have a fear of clowns should avoid this movie like the plague. A thing that we are not good at avoiding. Everybody's buzzed in. Nick, what do you think this movie is? 
It. Mike, what do you think? It. But I have a contention if it is. <laughs> Zach, what do you think? It. LC, what do you think? Her. I mean it. <laughs> it is it. One of those pronoun movies. <laughs> <laughs> Pronouns in the title. Pronouns in title of movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think I know what your what your your contention yeah, I think, is, Mike. I think the sequel just has the extra words now. Yes, I, I double checked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't advertise it as it chapter one. Uh, Except, well, they did it with a more recent movie that might be another clue, and but it wasn't in the title officially, so that it was in the title sequence. That is a good point. I know what movie yes. you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> uh, with that, LC, you're at 11. Zach, you're at 10. Mike and Nick tied at six. Zach, would you like a movie from 1931, 2003, or 2019? 2003. 2003. From 2003, for five points under violence and gore, there is a boxing match. Some blood. Nick has a guess. Anybody else? What movie do you think this is, Nick? Creed. It is not Creed. Uh, For four points under profanity. The villain says, quote, I want a fucking costume in the director's cut. But in the original version, he says, quote, I want a bloody costume. LC has a guess. Nick has a guess. Zach, Mike, anything? Nick, what movie do you think this is? Batman. LC, what movie do you think this is? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for three for three. I'm just gonna say Gladiator. Uh, that would have been fun. It is not been Gladiator. Ah. Uh, it is also not Batman. For three points under violence and gore, a man's knees are broken and or dislocated when he gets hit when he gets kicked in the knees from ground level. A very painfully depicted scene. However, his legs are not shown to be twisted backwards, but rather he falls to his knees crying out in pain. Mike has buzzed in. Anybody else? No, I'm changing my answer. (laughs) Mike has not buzzed in. Mm -mm. All right. For two points. Under frightening and intense scenes. As a kid... The main character freaks out in the hospital room when his newly heightened senses overwhelm him with too much sensory data. Zach is buzzed in. Nick is buzzed in. Mike, LC, nothing? (sighs) All right, Nick, what movie do you think this is? I'm like trying to remember the name of it. And it's not... Oh, wait. Okay. (laughs) Okay, okay. Hold um, on, I'll, 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 uh, Elsie did get in before you, you said any titles, oh, so right. I'll, let, I'll let Elsie guess first. Okay, great, because uh-huh. this is definitely 2003's Rob Schneider's The Animal. Uh, I am counting V as words? No, no, as... no, 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 it, it's <laughs> Rob Schneider is The Animal, <laughs> to be clear. Okay, Nick, what movie do you think this is? Daredevil. Zach, what movie do you mm. think this is? I also believe this is Daredevil. Mm. This movie is Daredevil. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Nice. Uh, final clue in that, under violence and gore, as a kid, the main character spots his father roughing up some guy in an alley for his boss. The main character then runs off only to have toxic chemicals spill onto his face and blind him when a truck nearly hits him, but instead pierces some canisters that spill the liquid. Is that the Daredevil backstory? Uh, yeah. Uh, he gets uh, blinded with chemicals 
that then, uh, real fun fact that was brought up on the show recently, those chemicals canonically dripped into the sewers and hit uh, four Ninja turtles Turtle. and a rat, creating the Ninja Turtles. No way! Uh-huh, canonically. Same universe! Uh, same, yep. Uh, it's the same reason that uh, Daredevil fights uh, some criminals called the Hand. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fight the foot. Uh huh. That's stupid. <laughs> and also, there was one more. I, I don't know enough about Daredevil to remember Wait, the other. Is Daredevil just like not part of any other comic universe except Ninja Turtles? No, Daredevil is uh, part Marvel. of the Marvel universe, yeah. and uh, Ninja Turtles are part of the Marvel universe. No, no Ninja Turtles. What? Are not part Shut of- up. Sorry the Ninja Turtles was written by like some bootleg comic book guy uh-huh. in middle of central mass or something. Oh, like okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And, then, yeah. and, and uh, he'd included that into the uh-huh. backstory. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was written as a parody of like the real dark, violent, gritty comics of the 80s. Oh, and okay. then oh. just became a fun kid show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's oh, just that's some, fun. Some, some fun facts about... Uh, Nick, you were close though, because it is uh, Daredevil is is Ben Affleck, who is also Batman. So you were close in your first one too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you for your uh, yeah. With that, Zach uh, still in the lead with twelve. LC at nine. Mike and Nick tied at six each. Uh, we are flying through this. We only have four movies left. One more go around. One more for each of you. LC kicking us off again. Well, Elsa like should movie? be at 10, not 9. Uh, why is that? Because I was at 9 before and Elsie was one ahead of me. Uh, yes, but I think you... Oh. oh yes. I think I guessed you it. Guessed wrong. wrong yeah. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. Never mind. Zach, yep. thank you for I, your, I, I your appreciate vigilance that. and your amplification. <laughs> Uh, True ally, Zach. If Jones. I had, I, I want, I want no asterisk point. on my victory. <laughs> <laughs> much, uh, much appreciated, much respected. Elsie, <laughs> would you like a movie from 1927, 1985, or 2012? Nineteen eighty five. Nineteen eighty five. Nineteen eighty five for five points under sex and nudity. It is implied that an elderly man cheats on his devoted wife. It is later revealed that he is a habitual cheater. LC has buzzed in. Anybody else? What movie do you think this is, LC? All right, I've only got one 1985 movie <laughs> on my list. What is it? So I'm assuming that this movie where the man, the elderly man cheats on his devoted elderly wife again and again and again is 1985's Ghoulies? <laughs> 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 How did you, how did, how do you spell ghoulies again? G O O L. Nick, come not on! Should you really be hosting this show if you can't spell a one word title? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Four, four points <laughs> under profanity. A man hints to another man that he has an erection, and the other man also admits that he had one too and refers to it as hard as a rock. They both go on to sing a crude song in reference to their erections. Uh, Everybody but Elsie this time. (laughs) Nick, what movie do you think this is? You know what, I'm thinking again. I think Mm -hmm. it might have a the in it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? No. I'm sorry. I, 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 okay. I keep wasting your time. No, hey, totally I, no, okay. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a stab. Oh, all right, cool. I'm gonna take a stab. Great. Uh fame. 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 Zach, fame. What movie do you think this is? Me? F- you? 
Is it, are you asking me? Are, are I am asking, asking you. Okay, yes. I think it's Cocoon. Mike, what movie do you think this is? Cocoon. Uh, it's not fame, but Cocoon. They're going to live forever. <laughs> 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 uh, other clues. there's like a very upsetting stati- like factoid about cocoon which is something crazy like rob lowe is older than wilfred brimley was oh, when they made cocoon a lot of people cocoon. are older than yeah there, there, there's a twitter that does like a running count and tells you like uh-huh. when when celebrities become older than than wilfred brimley was ah! yeah. you think rob lowe's bad paul rudd Older than Wilford Brimley in Cocoon. Okay, Paul Rudd's like fifty-two. Uh huh. What? Wilford Brimley, I think, is like either forty-nine or fifty in the movie Cocoon. Is he playing the serial cheater elderly? Oh, I don't know. I have never seen Cocoon. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. Uh, the other clues in Cocoon: under sex and nudity, three senior men wear swimming trunks. No nudity, no sex. Sex and nudity, a woman mm-hmm. is shown from behind fully naked as she walks down steps into a pool. Her backside is clearly shown, if not more. <laughs> a presumably nude man is waiting for her in the water. But unlike the woman, his private parts are not shown to us. And alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a reference to cocaine is made when the three men can't understand that since swimming in the pool, they have all of a sudden felt youthful again. One of the men says, quote, I wonder if there's cocaine in there. Another man says, I don't care, and jumps in regardless. Zach, still in the lead at 16. Mike now in second with 10. LC at 8. Nick at 5. We have three movies left. Uh, Can still go in any direction. Mike, would you like a movie from... 1986, 20, uh, 2006, or 2016? 1986. 1986. Going back to the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were going to have a pre guess there, Nick. <laughs> 1986 (laughs) for five points under violence and gore a reference to david slaying goliath with a stone uh i see two hands up zach mike nothing Mm. mike's gonna take a guess too everybody's gonna take why not (laughs) we're late in the game it's close zach what movie do you think this is Uh, i think it might be footloose mike what do you think oh uh I'm going to say Scarface. Nick, what do you think? Aim. <laughs> LC, what do you think? Okay, I've got one 1986 movie on the list. Okay. Um. So, sorry. And the clue. A reference what? to David slaying Goliath with a stone. With a stone. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. There is. That sounds very much correct. So this 1986 movie, I believe, is Critters. it is not critters uh it is not footloose it is not scarface it is not fame (laughs) (laughs) for four points under violence and gore a man fires a weapon in the air warning when a visitor arrives at his place For three points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, when the coach first meets the townspeople, several of them are smoking. One a cigarette, one a cigar, another a pipe, and the room is smoky. Can I hear the first two clues again? 
reference to David slaying Goliath with a stone, man fires a weapon in the air as a warning when a visitor arrives at his place. For two points under violence and gore, we are told that the coach received a lifetime ban for physically assaulting one of his own players in a previous team. He later talks about feeling his fist hit the kid's jaw. Just Mike, anybody else? Mike, do you know what this movie is? Rudy? It is not Rudy. Uh. I would have guessed Rudy too, but I happen to know that's from 1993. 93? Oh, how do you know that? I put it on my list. <laughs> I know. It's the only sports movie I got. Well, I uh, then it might not help things. you. For one point under violence and gore, a basketball game features some rough challenges. During an argument about one of them, a player pokes a coach in the chest with his finger. An opponent punches him in the face. This leads to a scuffle before player and coach are ejected. The crowd throw various items onto the court in anger. Hold up. I'm trying to raise my hand. All right. Uh, only two of you. Zach, have you figured out this movie? Uh, is it hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. LC. You, you got in there right at the end. What do you think? I thought of a one-word movie that sounds like it could be about sports. <laughs> what is that movie? I, ha- I don't know who's in it. I don't mm-hmm. know what it's about. Mm-hmm. Fletch! Zach, now, now you can answer. I, I think it's Hoosiers. Mike, what do you think? Hoosiers. This movie is not Fletch, uh, which has... <laughs> I guess it does have a basketball. It has a basketball scene in, in it. it. <laughs> uh, Where there's nicknames, there's sports. It is Hoosiers. <laughs> Fletch, actually, uh, one of Chevy Chase's best movies. Well, I mean, how long is that list? Uh, four movies. <laughs> <sighs> the rest of them are the vacation movies. <laughs> uh, no, two of the vacation movies make yeah. that list. Yes, and Fletch Lives. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And Karate Dog. Yes. And Snow Day. <laughs> Man of the House. God, he's Jonathan in Taylor Day. Thomas. That's true. I uh, will. Next episode is just going to be all Chevy Cops Chase and movies. Robertsons. <laughs> oh. With Jack Collins. Uh, right now, we got two movies left. Zach, uh, almost Mm. running away with this game, not quite at 16. Mike can still catch up at nine. LC can still catch up at six. Nick, you have four. (laughs) But you have four. (laughs) Uh, Also, you get to pick this movie. Me? Yes, you. Thank you. Would you like a movie from 1975? 1990 or 2016? 2016, please. 2016. All right, Penn Ultimate Movie of the Night from 2016 for five points under violence and gore. The hero is known to help people out and it resorts in violence most of the time. One of those heroes who resorts to violence. Zach has a guess. Anybody else? Zach, what movie do you think this is? Hold on. Nick, what movie do you think this is? 2016. 2016. Violent Hero. Violent Hero. You know, it's a uh, Superman. Superman. <laughs> Zach, what movie do you think this is? Is this Chappie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a problematic movie, but I love it so much. It's it's not Chappie, but Chappie is great. I hate that Chappie is great. Uh, it is also not Superman. <laughs> uh, for four points, 
under violence and gore, two characters have a heavy fist fight in a scrapyard. This does not show any blood as one is made of metal. Surprisingly, still not chappy. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't that before, I would have now. Uh, Nick is going to guess again. Anybody else? Nick, what do you think this time? Robot. Robot? <laughs> it is not robot. <laughs> I was waiting for them to come out with a movie of robot. Uh, oh. Robots exist. Oh, Mike, I do have to read this next clue. Okay. I'm going to just keep my hand up because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. For three points under sex and nudity. I don't. Know what it is. During a fight scene, a man fights completely naked. His buttocks are sort of visible, but all frontal nudity is almost completely obscured. The scene isn't graphic, unlike the female nudity shown in the strip club. Thank you for reading that clue because I have no idea that, what this it, is it, anymore. No, it, it ruined it for you. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the uh, two point clue under frightening and intense scenes. This is an action comedy. It's, it, it, this isn't meant to be taken seriously. Frontal nudity. And it's, got, it's not Eastern Promise. Uh, oh, funny movie, <laughs> Eastern Promises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final clue for one point under violence and gore. In the bar that the hero goes to, the bar, which is where he got his name from, people bet on others dying. And one fight is shown where they gang up on one man and beat him brutally. You see him after with a bloody face. Not too graphic, just somewhat intense. Uh, I see everyone but Zach. Zach wow. still looks confused. Nick, what movie do you think this is? Harold. Harold. Elsie, <laughs> <laughs> what movie do you think this is? Okay, I have a contention. Oh, okay. Which is that it's a compound word. Uh, Deadpool. I mean, compound words are, are <laughs> one word. <laughs> Mike, what movie do you think it is? I'm going with Deadpool, but I don't remember any of these things that this <laughs> these things are talking about. No, same. And I, I also Deadpool saw it in the theater in too. 2016. Uh, I think. Yeah, the the movie isn't made of uh, <laughs> the hero isn't named after the bar Harold. Uh, <laughs> Is named after the death pool at the bar. It is Deadpool. Chappie. <laughs> From the same uh, yeah, he fights, he fights totally naked in that movie. <laughs> and he fights in the scrapyard with the big Russian metal yeah. hat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nick, if I may, uh -huh. I feel like you took a tone with some of my guesses that felt <laughs> hurtful and judgmental. <laughs> and I think that Robot and Harold are not the most ridiculous <laughs> names for movies. We, we got lots of names out there. <laughs> and I just, I'm putting myself out there. I'm trying to play your game, trying to play the game. And uh, I just, I, I wanted to let that be known. I, I am very sorry. Um, I was hoping for the best for you uh, because this, <laughs> this, no, oh, no good hold on. Come back, Nick. This movie has been mentioned explicitly in the last four games you've been on. <laughs> and I really wanted to give you Deadpool finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's really fair. <laughs> So my apologies for letting you down. Uh, my apologies for taking a real snotty tone with Harold. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, is Harold a movie about improv? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's so long, Zach. Oh no. <laughs> and it just doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Like no. they reference them. No, but then like the it beginning. all kind of ties <laughs> together at the ending. 
but in a way that they seem way more impressed with it than you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of like, okay, but if you went back and look, it's not like they were planning that. I mean, this is getting even meaner uh, to Nick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh! It was a a wonderful improv. I'm sorry, are you a Herald performer? No, no, I, I have not been cast. On any Harold team, yeah, I'm all, I'm okay. That's, yeah, congratulations. We have one movie left. Our, our scores going into the final round. Zach just about running away with it. Fifteen. Mike, you can still catch up. You're at ten. LC, you're at seven. Nick, you're at one. Zach, you get to pick the last movie. Okay. Would you like a movie from 1964, 1987, or 2013? Let's do 87. 87. Great year. Our final movie of the night from 1987 for five points under violence and war. Most of the violence is played for laughs. Lots of slapstick. LC has a guess. Nick has a guess. Zach, Mike, nothing. Mike also has a guess. Zach, you don't need to guess, but uh, I'm happy to see you take a a chance. Zach, what movie do you think this is? Uh, I think that this is um, all the violence in gore is played for laughs. Is that what the clue was? Uh, most of the violence is played for laughs. Lots most of slapstick. Of most of it. Uh, I'm going to say that this is, uh, I don't know, Airplane. Mike, what movie do you think this is? Shit, I had a guess and now I got distracted and I forgot what it was. <laughs> um, but I think it was, what was the clue again? Most of the violence is played for laughs. Lots of slapstick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Meatballs. <laughs> Nick, do you remember what this clue was? And yeah. Also, do you have a guess? <laughs> Most of the violence is played for laughs. Mostly slapstick. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, too, had a guess, got distracted, <laughs> and forgot my guess. Oh, no. I'm going to tap out. Okay. <laughs> LC, uh, do you remember the clue? Do you have a guess? And do you remember your guess? This is why you got to buzz in early. Because I forgot my guess and then remembered it again. <laughs> so, uh-huh. 1987, you 1987. said. The violence, uh-huh. but it's played for laughs. Uh, it's so funny. Slapstick. Uh huh. Lots the of it. Iconic scene of graphic movie violence has been burned into the minds, nay, exploded into the heads uh-huh. of America's consciousness ever since 1987, when <laughs> when it came out. The movie is Scanners. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, pretty good tie with the head exploding. It was like <laughs> seamless, I feel. After that six minutes, uh, it's not scanners, it's not airplane, <laughs> it's not meatballs. <laughs> it's the were those the guesses? Uh-huh. Have we been on the same movie since airplane? Uh-huh. A movie which you famously got on the five-point clue before. 1980. (laughs) Uh But uh, we will go to the next one. Uh, Zach, I assume... uh, No? Okay. Uh, No, No, you you can't guess anyway. Yeah. For four points under sex and nudity, a character's tail goes up a a woman's dress just after he commented on another woman's breasts. Ilse has buzzed in. Uh, anybody else? 
Nick is also buzzed in. Nick, what movie do you think this is? I think this is like the gritty version of Looney Tunes, and it's called Le Pew. <laughs> 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 LC, what movie do you think this wow. is? I want to change my answer to Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> just, just Le Pew? I guess. We're just going to go Le Pew? Well, because uh, it's only one word, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is your turn, LC. I'm so sorry. The, um, I mean, I'll, I'll use my, my guess, I guess, but when you said Right, the tail goes up, and I missed this, even though I had it on my list the last time. He makes a comment about a woman's breast, and then his tail goes up a skirt. That is Balto. <laughs> <laughs> One word, baby! Oh my goodness. Movie that was on your last episode It is not Balto. Uh, and it is so, so sadly not Le Pew. I love that the gritty reboot of Looney Tunes decided to go all in on Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> I think it works. Uh, for three points, uh, we were going so quickly in this game, and this movie <laughs> is going to take 20 minutes. Uh, Airplane. Under, under profanity. <laughs> An extended gag where many of the bridge crew share the surname asshole. And it is repeated throughout the sequence. Oh, Since oh. it is some character's surname, the word asshole is listed in the end credits. Uh, everybody but Nick has buzzed in. Mike, what movie do you think this is? Spaceballs. LC, what movie do you think this is? First, I would like to hear a rundown of the previous clues. <laughs> <laughs> I just Any, want to make an, sure anything my, for you, friend. My uh, intuitions are yep. correct. Previous what clues. What did we all guess already? Um, and this one, I, this one uh, might be hard to remember. Under violence and gore, most of the violence uh, is actually played for laughs, and there <sighs> is a lot of slapstick in the movie. Um, also, there's a character, uh, his tail goes up a woman's dress uh, just after he comments on another woman's breasts. And then uh, there's an extended gag uh, where, where many of the bridge crew share the surname Asshole. And that's repeated several times. In fact, because it is a character surname, uh, that word, Asshole, uh, you can read that during the end credits. Uh, does this narrow it down for you, Elsie? So it's, but and it's not Balto. Uh, we have established that this movie. Is I, I understand it. Just you know, like I mean, you called the audible earlier. I'm like, who knows? Like Nick's getting into this place where he can make edits. Like, so who knows? Maybe it's oh. Balto. <laughs> now it's um, Balto. <laughs> but no, my guess is gonna be Spaceballs. Oh, that's that's a good guess, oh. Zach. What do you think? I can't be caught right now, can I? Uh, <laughs> you can't. Uh, what? Then, then, uh -huh. then my answer is chat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that your answer is Chappie. Uh, don't see Chappie unless you already have Chappie. Then maybe watch Chappie. Uh, this movie is Spaceballs: The Motion Picture. It's not called Spaceballs the Motion Picture. I realize adding that joke at the end <laughs> ruins the whole theme of the show that we spent the last eight hours working so so diligently on. Uh, yeah, this movie is Spaceballs. Uh, the other clues in Spaceballs under violence and gore in a parody of Alien. An alien creature bursts out of a man's chest. A little slimy, but not gory, and is played for comedy. And under violence and gore and one scene, a laser blast from the villain's ring effectively castrates a man in a parody of the Darth Vader force choking. That was Spaceballs. This was Inappropriate Movie Database. Our final scores tonight. Nick at zero points. Elsie at eight. Mike at 12. 
and almost losing it for a good joke at 13 points is <laughs> Zach Jones making Zach Jones the winner tonight. Oh, this was uh, this was such a delight. I'm this reading so about Chappie. I've never I, I have no recollection of any of this. <laughs> the character of Chappie is great. The band DeAntford yeah, is yeah, the not great. <laughs> They are fun in the movie, but if you read one paragraph of their wiki, uh, <laughs> it ruins everything about Chappie. Oh, I haven't oh, done that. Okay. Well, uh, I'm seeing here a popular science about. headline that suggests a real Chappie robot would be more of a mystery than a friend. Oh, well, that well, is that is that Neil deGrasse Tyson? That. that sounds like the kind of bullshit he'd write. <laughs> Chappie is real and Chappie is my friend. I uh-huh. won't okay. otherwise. Also, you get uh, Hugh Jackman in a mullet. And then he's friends with the robot? Uh, no, he's the villain. The friends of the robot are the, the, the South African band T. Hanford. Yeah. And they're, they're oh, and you hate that picture. band. Again, uh, I really like the music that I can't listen to anymore because of some things that are not funny. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that a band from Johannesburg would have <laughs> issues. More problematic, really? With, uh-huh. with, with being problematic. I, I don't. Yeah. All right. I'll anyway, read about this on my own time. No, absolutely. Uh, this was so much fun. Uh, uh, Way off the rails, but so much fun. Uh, do you be- say that every week, or do no, I just, just always happen to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> you you hate rails, uh, and we, uh, you, you, you you don't do the coke anymore. Yeah, yeah, and I I, <laughs> I only study development with Ruby off rails. Anyone? Look, someone I, I, in YouTube. I, I, is is like giving half of a snort right now. <laughs> All you can ask for sometimes is exhaling through the nose. Right? That's most of my jokes. That's an, igno- that's an uh-huh. exhale of acknowledgement. <laughs> uh, before we go, let's, 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 let's bring this train to the station. Before we go, if there's anything you want to promote, anywhere you want to be found, or just any last words, uh Elsie I'm sure you have you, you have some last words <laughs> uh, I mean I do they're not very um creative say mm-hmm. I might have said them already but <laughs> I guess okay actually no you know what mm-hmm. I do um I'm excited actually I do I have I I just talked to a friend recently about like we're gonna we're gonna sort of put the band back together, so to speak. So I do want to let everyone know that on August 5th, 1987, <laughs> while driving a rented BMW 316 in Enniskillen, Northern Ireland, Matthew Broderick crossed into the wrong lane and collided <laughs> head on with a Volvo. The driver, Anna Gallagher, 28, and her mother, Margaret Doherty, 63, were both killed instantly. Broderick has never met with the families of the victims. I really Hashtag hope the Broderick victims. I, I hope the victims never see this show, um, because uh, well, they won't. I, I promise. Won't. No, because I am going to continue to laugh every time you bring it up and feel like the worst person. <laughs> yeah, fuck my Matthew. Yeah, Broderick. you know what? You're the second worst person then involved in this story. <laughs> <laughs> That's still very high. <laughs> No, actually, and that's not even true. I would like to promote a second thing, which uh-huh. is that a Matthew Broderick getting away with literal murder or vehicular manslaughter, if you want to call it that, doesn't happen without a huge team of people drawing their paychecks from a child actor. Now, the reason this... <laughs> well, I'm going to ask some of some of the rest of you to, to like promote your stuff and you're going to feel bad about it uh mike (laughs) give up y'all then you can just be like a really good person on a high horse for life 
I want to talk about how Sean Penn was abusive to all of his previous partners. So, uh, and then also you can find me on Twitter at Air Giordano. And uh, yeah, uh, give blood when you can. I mean, those are three very important things. Like first on the list, follow Mike Giordano. But like a real close second, uh, Sean Penn is a terrible person. And I don't know why uh, we've like redeemed him. And uh, yeah, way down third, give blood. I mean, if you can, I don't know if it's that important. Uh, hey. I mean, there's a good chance it could go to a Matthew Broderick if he yeah. gets in a car accident. Or... Yeah, Someone and, and that, their mother that point, are bleeding yeah. out right now because a child actor doesn't know international <laughs> driving laws. <laughs> Give them your blood. Hey, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Anything uh, you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, our, our, our winner is Zach Jones. Anything? Uh, anything uh, yeah. uh, I, I would like, um, I'm doing donations this month uh, for, for the Matthew Broderick Defense Fund. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, Ireland uh, intentionally deceived him. Uh, Northern Ireland. <laughs> Northern. Oh, oh, well, he killed two Northern Ireland. Uh, they're probably Protestants then, so the hell with them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I you watch watch on uh, on the two MB studios on Twitch. Uh, please watch Left Night with Kendra Dossie. Uh It is a uh, very fun show uh, that Kendra and I put on, uh, and uh, we have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, and you can check out if you go on to Two MB Studios on YouTube, uh, you can check out the archive. Uh, check out past episodes, uh, such as uh, the one where. Uh, where we uh, break down uh, what stories are happening with mayors in the United States. Uh, and we test a theory I developed uh, called critical face theory as to whether or not Kendra can tell by looking at a white person whether or not uh, they did something racist. Uh, all, <laughs> all games like this and more fun uh, by checking out uh, Wednesday, Wednesdays at 8.30 on 2MB Studios Twitch. Absolutely check out that show. It is so good and i'm so happy i'm no longer competing with it <laughs> uh thank you once again to all my guests lc clark nick tatro mike giordano zach jones i'm nick martucci find me on all social media at blundering idiom find the show on facebook search inappropriate movie database or click the link in the description uh like i said uh wednesday February 9th, 7 p.m. We're doing the show live in person at the Model Cafe in Alston, Massachusetts. Please come. It'll be free. It's always a good time. Uh, and uh, please uh, watch more of these episodes. We have another one coming up on uh, Thursday at 8, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're doing uh, February birthdays, all movies with actors born in February. Uh, we've got so many shows coming up, uh, some that I'm really excited for. We're doing a whole show of uh, movies that won or were nominated for the MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss. We're doing a whole show uh, featuring movies that have the most fucks uh, in any movies. I found that list, so I'm pulling from that list. Uh, Liz Esty, friend of the show, hosting a rom-com edition. Uh, Josh Poirier, friend of the show, is hosting 70s and 80s sci-fi uh there's there's so much to watch please and if you want to be a part of it reach out i'm gonna put you on the show uh i love having new people on the show thank you so much for watching this and uh watch more of them and subscribe and like and do everything that youtubers tell you to do and uh thank you again so much for watching <laughs>